We will understand it all by and by. I love that song. That song just blesses my heart every time I hear it. Good morning, Sandy. No. Good morning, Shady Grove. <laughs> it's good to be in the house of God today, tonight. I tell you what, all of these songs that have been played, I tell you what, when God's in it and the Holy Spirit is in it, you can't go wrong. Today's message will be from Daniel 3, verses 12 through 30. Today I will talk about three particular men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and their faith in the face of fire. Today's message will be entitled, Faith in the face of the fire. So take your copy of God's Word and turn to Daniel chapter 3. We will read, start from verse 12. So I will ask you, out of reverence for God, if you will stand for the reading of God's holy, infallible, inerrant, inspired, authoritative Word of God. Follow as I read, starting at verse 12. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded it to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, Psaltery and dulcimer and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. But if ye worship not, it shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace and seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace furnace. You may be seated. Let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, I come to you right now, Father. And Lord, I thank you for another day of life. I thank you for the opportunity to come up here and speak this gospel and preach this gospel unequivocally and unashamed for which I am an ambassador in change. I am an ambassador to you, Lord. Speak through me in this message, and may what is said not come back void. In Jesus' name, amen. 